Hi everybody. Um, I wanted to share about how I make um, my O scale um, realistic stone walls that you find commonly here in New England. Um, so I actually made a couple of test samples so, so you guys can see how they come out in different sizes and different heights just to get a variance of how they actually look because um, they're not perfect you know because some of these walls are over 300 years old um, so they all look a little different so the source of my materials um, is actually the parking lot at my work um, there's a lot of um, old gravel and stuff like that that I can pick up in the parking lot for free materials and I'm trying to show you guys in the camera what it looks like and the size and stuff like that let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it for a second if it's gonna f it's not gonna like me but you get the idea um, but it's a way to get um, realistic stone walls um, the fastest way I've been able to figure it out without actually making a mold or doing anything like that and what's more realistic than real rocks um, so I wanted to show you guys how I actually make them um, and then another way that I can mass produce them because I'm gonna create a lot of it um, if as you guys well know the FNL model railroad is an actual fictional um, area representation of the Framingham and Lowell line um, so it's based up here in New England and there's a lot of um, houses around here that are you know outlined by property lines with stone walls and old farms and stuff like that so I wanted to get some of that realism into the scenery um, so let me show you guys how I actually made it um, so the way I do it now is I have these little pieces of also wood that I cut up to a scale size of two feet high and 24 feet long and then I space it out about a quarter of an inch uh, to simulate uh, one foot wide um, and I set it up on a piece of just scrap foam a piece of wax paper um, some pins to hold everything together and then uh, basically just I bring isopropyl alcohol as a wet water agent so the glue can get all the way down to the bottom to make the rocks glue and stick together um, and then I basically let it sit on my bench for a day or two um, because it does take a long time for it to dry due to the wax paper and the air can't get on the inside to um, let the glue dry um, so I'm going to go ahead and make one for you guys um, show you how I do it um, so I start on one side what I do is I literally just pin it inside the wax paper so that when the glue is dried the rocks don't stick to the board or the mold and I can easily peel it away so I get one side in the other side in and I do this all by eye I don't actually measure it all the only the only thing I really care about is the length and the height I don't really care about the distance um, I have found that I can't go any smaller than a quarter of an inch um, because then there's just not enough material to hold the wall together and it becomes very very flimsy um, and it doesn't hold up so I get a minimum of a quarter of an inch which is fine by me because I am not looking for ultra realism I'm just looking for the thought and going oh cool stone walls I've seen those driving around town um, stuff like that once it's in then 
I block off the edges so that the rocks don't fall out when I pour them into the mold. So I just literally put these two little scrap pieces of wood in just to make the corners, just to make the edges square. And then when I pour the rocks in, they don't fall out. Alright, so with the mold like that, I'll try and pick it up without everything falling out on me. And of course this one's going to be a pain. But, uh, that's how it looks when it's ready to go. And basically all I do is pour the rocks right in the middle here. Try and get it even as I possibly can and throw in a couple of big ones in there so they don't all look the same size and, and dimension because it uh, doesn't look like that in the real, in the real ones. So uh, I do the best I can. And these side pieces are always a pain to try and keep in one spot. So, but basically, I basically just push it all in. And as you can tell, it's not a very <laughs> clean process, but hey, it works. I clean up the mess when I'm done. So I just kind of even out the top best I can. Push all the rocks towards the edges. And then whatever's kind of falling off the edges, I can just pick up and push back in again. So I'm going to put one more pin in the back side so this thing stops falling out. Because if I don't, it's just going to keep falling out on me. And then I'm going to get aggravated and then I'm going to throw it. So, that's that. So, we're almost there. Now that you see it like that, now it kind of looks like a rock wall. Now we just got to glue it together so it stays that way. So I found that if you use too much isopropyl alcohol, which is what's in this bottle, um, it never dries because the wax paper um, prevents the air from getting inside. So you can't use too much of it, but you also can't use too little because um, the rocks need need to be able to have the Elmer's glue um, go all the way to the bottom or else when you go to pull it apart only the top half of the wall is glued together and the bottom half falls apart and then you're going to start all over again. So I basically wasted two days of my life waiting for this thing to dry um, to only have it fail. So I've actually made a couple of mistakes already. So let's keep throwing this in. That looks all right there. So I go ahead and just squirt it in, just to get the surface wet. Okay. Then I take my 50-50 water and Elmer's glue. I just drip some in. You don't want to do too much again because if you do too much the glue doesn't dry because it doesn't get all the way to the bottom. You also don't want to go sparingly with the glue because then only the top half of the wall gets glued and when you pull it apart only half the wall glue is glued and then it ends up looking like junk. 
um, and it doesn't look right and it breaks off in pieces and stuff like that um, so basically that's how I make them when I pull them apart is I take the two side pieces off I take all the pins out and I'll fold the sides down and the, the wax paper makes it so the glue doesn't stick and then I have 24 scale feet of stone wall and then I can just keep repeating the process over and over to get as many sections that I need um, and then I can customize it any way I need to um, so once this is dried they come out looking like this so this is a small one that I did and that was my very first sample there's a slightly bigger one um, that didn't work out as quite as I wanted it to because the glue didn't set up the way I wanted it to but it looks real um, you know stone walls aren't supposed to be perfect because you know it was basically just free building materials for um, people to make fences out of so it's all sorts of different sizes and heights and stuff like that um, so I think it would be okay um, so thank you for watching um, if you like this video um, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me, uh, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for, thanks for watching. See you next time.